Recently smart building installations, including ones based on KNX, are increasingly the subject of cyber attacks. These cyber attacks can be easily avoided in case of KNX by ensuring that installations are never directly accessible via the internet. KNX provides multiple solutions and tips to avoid this type of situation. This video shows different risk scenarios and how to deal with them safely with KNX and ETS-6. First of all, access to our facilities by any unauthorized person must be prevented. However, if we currently have KNX installations in this situation, we have to understand that they run a serious risk of any malicious person remotely accessing our installation and being able to easily reprogram all our devices by assigning them a BCU password that we will not be able to discover. Therefore, it is very important to act immediately by protecting the programming of installed devices as soon as possible. To do this, we must immediately reprogram all the devices by assigning them a BCU password from ETS. This BCU password must be kept in a safe place and it is recommended that it also be provided to the end user together with the project's password in a sealed envelope as a safeguard for the project guarantee. It is important to remember now that the assignment of a BCU password does not imply any inconvenience for the integrator since ETS will never ask for this password when we are working with the original ETS project. Once we have described how to solve the most worrying scenario for a KNX installation, we will now describe the scenarios recommended by KNX regarding the security of the installations against a possible remote attack. When one wishes to realize access to an installation via internet, this can be realized ensuring access to the KNX installation through VPN connections. This however requires a router that supports VPN server functionality or a server with VPN functionality. Another option is the use of the dedicated manufacturer-specific solutions available in the market and visualizations through, for example, HTTP access. Additionally, KNX has specified in an extension to the KNX standard a KNX standardized solution for accessing to KNX installations over the internet via web services. To help the integrator ensuring a higher security in KNX installations, KNX Association provides two very valuable documents, the KNX Security Checklist and the KNX Secure Position Paper. The KNX Security Checklist has been designed to make sure that people are not trying to take advantage of possible security loopholes in installations. In many installations, such loopholes are unfortunately very straightforward, as we have seen in our first case. Next to the before-mentioned measures, KNX runtime communication can be protected via the specified KNX Data Secure and KNX IP Secure mechanisms. KNX Data Secure ensures that, regardless of the KNX medium selected, messages sent by KNX devices can be authenticated and or encrypted. Even in the case where such communication would not be secured and such networks would be connected to IP, the KNX IP Secure mechanisms were defined on top of this. KNX IP tunneling or routing messages cannot be recorded or manipulated on IP and a security wrapper is added around the complete KNX net IP data traffic. The KNX data secure and KNX IP secure mechanisms provides a secured communication channel thereby ensuring data integrity, freshness, and confidentiality of the data. In ETS-6, the KNX secure level of IP devices like the IP routers is part of the device properties. Possible levels are activated and deactivated. For such devices when backbone is secure, it is needed to set the level to activate it. On the other hand, the KNX secure level of IP interfaces is also part of the device properties. For external visualization access via additional tunneling interfaces, an interface password and a group address explicitly assigned to the interface is needed. In KNX Data Secure, the KNX Secure level of a group address is part of the group address properties. 
possible levels are on, off and automatic. There are dependencies between this level and the group addresses assigned to the group objects. For example, the need to download such devices also secure when the group address is secure. ETS6 Professional supports KNX Secure Proxy which is a coupler extension that allows securing remote access to the installation through KNX IP secure tunneling and also securing KNX communication in open IP networks through KNX IP secure routing. KNX Secure Proxy also ensures the securing of the device configuration. The securing of the runtime communication of certain applications and the securing of the KNX communication in open subnetworks through KNX Data Security and KNX IP Secure Device Management. Now you know the main rules related to security in KNX installations. It is needed to use BCU passwords to protect our installations from hackers. We must never leave open remote access to a KNX installation but implement VPN connection whenever possible. It is advisable to check the KNX security checklist and KNX secure papers provided by KNX. And finally, thanks to the new ETS6 we will be able to configure KNX IP secure, KNX data secure and KNX secure proxies in our installations. Thank you for your attention.